Hi, I'm glad you can join me as we dive into the word. Proverbs 15 today it is early morning. Not that early, a little after seven here. But um, I'm going to read and then hopefully get a good walk jog in. <laughs> and so I don't know what you have planned for the day, but I hope it's a good one for you. Um, so let's go ahead and open up in quick prayer. Father God, we are humbled to be in your presence. We give you thanks for all that we have. We put at your feet anything that is bothering us, anything that is is a question that needs an answer. We give it to you, Lord. May you be our guide. I thank you for, for the listener. I pray that it is your message that they hear and not my own. I pray that you are with us as we read. I pray that you put in our heart a word from you, for we can rely on it as true, life-giving word, and I thank you for that, Father. I ask that you calm our hearts and minds and put us at a place where we're ready to receive and understand your word. It is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Proverbs 15. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he who receives correction is prudent. In the house of the righteous there is much treasure, but in the revenue of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the fool does not do so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but he loves him who follows righteousness. Harsh discipline is for him who forsakes the way, and he who hates correction will die. Hell and destruction are before the Lord, so how much more the hearts of the sons of men. A scoffer does not love one who corrects him, nor will he go to the wise. <clears throat> a merry heart makes a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. The heart of him who has understanding seeks knowledge, but the mouth of fools feeds on foolishness, all the days of the afflicted are evil, but he who is of a merry heart has a con continual feast. Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure with trouble. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a fatted calf with hatred. A wrathful man stirs up strife, but he who is slow to anger always, al that's a new word for me, is slow to anger allays contention, allows, I'm assuming, allows contention, which is, um, Content, contentment, to be at peace with, comfortable with, you are content. The way of the lazy man is like a hedge of thorns, but the way of the upright is a highway. A wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly is joy to him who is destitute of discernment, but a man of understanding walks uprightly. Without counsel, plans go awry, but in the multitude of the counselors they are established. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth. And a word spoken in due season, how good it is. The way of the life winds upward for the wise, that he may turn away from hell below. The Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the boundary of the widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of a pure heart are pleasant. He who is greedy for gain troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous studies how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours forth evil. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. The light of the eyes the light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and a good report makes the bones healthy. The ear that hears the rebukes of life will abide among the wise. He who disdains instruction despises his own soul, but he who heeds rebukes get understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. That was Proverbs 15. May you have received a message today. Reading that, I'm reminded of um, uh, one of my church elders uh, years ago, but she said, um, iron sharpens iron. So take criticism or take somebody pointing out uh, an error of yours. Take it as them, them wanting to bring the best out of you. They love you enough to correct something that they see is not right. And so iron sharpens iron. Both of you become stronger and sharper for it. And in this case, for the kingdom of the Lord. So 
As always, take care. God bless you. Bye.